What's going on everyone? Andrew here again with Total Running Productions exclusive. And today we're going to talk about Yared Nagus. This man has become a legend so quickly in 2023. He's only run twice this year. And wouldn't you know it, he has run two of the greatest performances, not just in American history, but of all time. Let's take a trip back to January 27th, where he ran a time of 728.24 in the 3000. That is an American record, and it now lands him at number 9 on the all-time list, only falling behind Kenyan and Ethiopian athletes at this point. And while this was an amazing performance, it honestly is not even close to his incredible one-mile American record that he ran this year in the Milrose Games, clocking a time of 3 minutes 47.38 seconds, now falling less than half of a second from the world record of Yumif Kajelcha from 2019, and he's now number 2 all-time. This is incredible. Yuri Nagus has showcased some incredible capabilities this indoor season, but I think what most people don't realize is that this doesn't even touch what he's actually capable of doing. Because in both of these races, specifically in the mile, he closed just insanely fast. Let's take a look at his 100 meter splits throughout his entire indoor one mile American record of 347. Now he was rolling very, very fast through 1200 meters, which he passed in 252.15. So he was close to American record pace at this point, but I don't think anyone really thought he was gonna get down to 347 because his final 400 meters showed 100 meter splits of 14.24, 13.93, and then for his final 200 meters, the man just dropped the hammer, throwing down a 12.97 and yet another 12.97, which, if you're doing the math at home, is a sub-26 final 200 at 25.94. This is incredible. This was also an incredibly deep Wanamaker mile, as not one, but two athletes ran under 350, and we also had eight personal records set in this event. This is one of the most impressive indoor miles of all time, and it's not even close. And I do want to touch on something important here. He is part of this incredible surge in speed when it comes from the On Athletics Club. Now, if you don't know, On had three athletes running extremely well in this event. You had Yuri Nagus, you had Ollie Hoare, and Mario Garcia Romo, and also Luke McCann from Ireland, who ran a 353. On is just on fire right now. I don't think that's a pun, but it might be. And they credit a lot of their success to Dathan Ritzenhain, who is not only an amazing coach apparently, but is one of the most successful American distance runners of all time. I was a huge Ritzenhain fan when I was in middle school and high school. The man has qualified multiple times for the Olympic Games. He's also gone under 13 minutes for the 5,000, and he's a one hour flat half marathon runner. He could do it all, and he really is bringing that talent and capabilities in running to the On Athletics Club as a coach. So I'm very happy to see him exceeding there. And leading the way this season is Yuri Nagus, and I do think that a lot of people have reason to believe that he might be the next great American miler, or just the next great American distance runner, because he has run incredibly well over the mile and over the 3,000. The title of this video is Nobody Has Ever Done This Before, and the reason we're doing that is because no one has ever run under 350 for the indoor mile and under 730 for the indoor 3,000. But with seemingly effortless execution, Nagus just came in and absolutely crushed both of these events, and running these kind of times, even in the outdoor scene, is pretty rare, but to do it indoors for both of these events is completely historic. And I would also be very interested to see what he can do in the 5,000 meters, because right now his 5,000 personal best is only 13 minutes and 40 seconds, and that clearly is not up to par with his capabilities right now. I would imagine he could get close to 13 minutes, if not under. He is an incredible talent coming into the scene very rapidly. People have a right to be very, very intrigued and excited about what Yuri Nagus just did. And I think this season he has the capabilities of not just qualifying for the world championship team, but making the podium in the world finals if he can stay fit and healthy and keep a good season throughout the entire outdoor campaign. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit more detail on what the Goose is doing right now. And if you have any more interest in this athlete, I'll link down below an article by Let's Run that goes into a little bit more detail on some of the on some of the analytics behind this athlete. And yeah, Yuri Nagus is very fast, and that's about it. See ya.